We have the holy water. Is everything else in place? All ready to go. Told you you could count on me. Then let us begin. Famiel, have your men summon everyone to the Witten Hall. Right you are! Ashula, uh, wait. I don't know the words. Don't worry. There aren't many of them. We'll have time enough to practice before people arrive. My friends, we are gathered here today to welcome this child into our community by the right of immersion, as has been our custom since the first reign. As tributary, I would normally perform the rite with the child's parents, but Walius's mother and father returned to the sea long ago. So I and my brother Famiel shall serve as his family, while the one who returned him to us shall bear witness in my stead. Clive, if you would step forward. Like the rain that falls on the mountains tall, are we born? Like the river that flows through the valleys below, do we live? See, where the currents run free, do we die, and to the clouds then rise again? The circle of water is the circle of life, and today from the heavens falls rain anew. This child, Walius, now joins our stream, and he shall flow with us from the mountains to the sea. <sighs> <laughs> you played your part to a T, Clive. Thank you. It means a lot to us. I was honored to be asked, and terrified I'd miss. <laughs> now that you're part of the family, young Walias, my lad. Uncle Famuel can teach you the ways of the world. <laughs> oh, no, he can't. Eh? Don't be so hasty. Your brother's knack for self-preservation might serve him well. Ha! You are never going to let me live that down, are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna raise Walius as if he were my own. Teach him everything I know about life, our people, and our past. 
But with all the mother crystals gone, he will grow up in a world without comforts. One where we only have ourselves and each other to rely on. I'd say your people are better prepared than most to survive in such a world, Shula. To thrive, indeed, under your guidance. Only if nature continues to smile on us. If we were to lose her gifts, we'd be left with nothing at all. Yes. But it needn't come to that. Not if we can stop the spread of the Blight. So long as we can save a single patch of soil, we can plant the seeds for a new world. One where we can all be free. Perhaps then, we might finally be able to step out from behind our curtain, eh? Till that day comes, I wish you good tide. Thank you. We should be on our way. Well, you be careful out there. Aye, you steer clear of trouble now. <laughs> Likewise. Must be the first outsiders to have witnessed that rite in over a century. Walius has been waiting for it for nearly as long. He seemed pleased to be finally rejoining the family. Now all we have to do is save that family. To change our river's course. 